Um, obviously a tough ending to the season, um, especially starting off the first quarter um, with the execution and energy that we wanted to um, to play with a really good team like them. And in the second quarter, um, we just got really smothered, um, got a little too fast with everything, which resulted in a ton of turnovers and points off turnovers. And then you could see us trying to scramble. And it's kind of been the story of, um, of the year, essentially. We've been in games, and we win down the stretch, and then games that we don't get off to good starts in the first half. Um, you can see this young team kind of hang their head and not have that maturity or fight yet to um, to battle back and, and win each possession. And then it can feel kind of ugly or just a little disheartening at times. But you know, I, I will say this young group had a had another choice to really quit. Um, partway through conference and second half, uh, they found a way to scratch their way up to sixth place um, where it could have ended in a different story. So uh, we've just got to pick different pieces that we can, stay positive with it, and, and move forward with a really young team as well as getting some of our injured kids back. I just think the second quarter, you know, we started to lose them a little bit and our defense started to break down. And that um, was the quarter that really defined us because that's when they started to make a little run and we didn't respond like we should have. At a certain point, they extended their defense a little more to where they started guarding me at the half, so that way I'd have to pass it up a little sooner, get the ball out of my hands, and then they really just tracked me everywhere I went, and they made it hard for every shot. I had to work for every single one of them. In the game plan or understanding when you're playing a team like Western, they are so dangerous offensively, and it's like a track race. Um, they can score at will, and they just explode and almost kind of embarrass you in certain runs um, because they play at a pace that's super fast. And defensively, they, they do a lot of things that gamble. Um, you're not, they're not playing a fundamental lockdown defense. They're swiping from behind. They're jumping passing lanes. And I think early on, we were totally controlling pace. We talked about, you know, if we're going to be in this game and compete with them, we need to make them feel uncomfortable by going slower. And I felt like we did that in the first quarter. Um, and then we got sped up. And you could see once we got a few a stop or two, we tried to race the ball up the floor, which is not what we wanted to do. Then we got by somebody and kind of left our feet in balance. And then you got Clemens picking it off layup after layup. And then soon you get a little bit deflated, miss a couple shots, and then it's gotten ugly at that point. So I really feel it's more of we sped up in trying to pass around the perimeter um, rather than get it into the high post. Um, obviously, they were taking away the high post early. And uh, we needed to work the ball around more to get the high post, get it into the high post later in the shot clock. She's an amazing talent with the pace that she plays. She's very crafty and very shifty. She's include, she's definitely improved her outside shot. A lot of teams, when they're having success against her, we're starting to gap her and baiting her into that shot. And uh, she, as a competitor as she is, she's totally taken the challenge and she'll nail that as a dagger as well. So she's also improved going left um, before it was all right hand and then kind of that hesitation. Um, but what you have to do is you have to rotate defensively. We're not a primary man defensive team, um, but when you saw us play zone we weren't moving or rotating at all either um, it comes down to guarding one-on-one -on -one, whether you're in man whether you're in zone but when they can make one move and get all the way to the rim um, that's just unacceptable